Welcome to Win Souls TV. This is your host Jeff Thomas, and uh, today I have a little short testimony with a lesson and a word of advice for those that are being criticized for actually believing that God does miracles. Okay, uh, as some of you already know, if you've been riding with me for a while, I have I play video games sometimes from time to time, mostly on weekends, and. Uh, <laughs> My game is Halo. It's a first-person shooter. Bang, bang, you know. And <laughs> I will tell you this. You come across a lot of interesting people, and the Lord has used me to minister to a lot of these people. Some of these people are depressed. Some of these people have actually been on the brink of killing themselves. Some of these people are on drugs constantly throughout the day, all the time. Okay? And literally, I've been used to pray online. I have been used to minister to some of these people, and uh, it's just been a great experience. And I promised the Lord that I wouldn't delete my Xbox Live account uh, because of that. And so the other day, I was playing a game or a few games online, and there was an, a guy. Uh, well, I won't give you his gamer tag or anything, just just in case some of you guys actually play. But oh, and excuse my air conditioning in the back, but. He, he saw my, my name. My name is uh, Bright Evangelist, uh, B-R-I-T-E, and Evangelist, if you guys are looking for me online. And he saw my name and he said, hey, you know, uh, and, and he's a strong believer in Christ. He's like in his late 40s or whatever. And, and he was just trying to tell me, you know, all of this stuff that God does and does not do and some of the things that were for the people in the Bible but are not for us today and you know every time that I would try and come back with a rebuttal he would immediately cut me off but then when you know he had something to say he wanted the floor to be quiet and so for me uh, that's very frustrating uh, dealing with people like that and then also that lets me know that that individual is more so geared around winning winning an argument versus actually hearing what the other person has to say. So, uh, needless to say, uh, you can you can bet your bottom dollar that this boy got blocked online. But uh, <laughs> after, but before that, any of that happened, what what he was trying to tell me was that you know the time of miracles is over. You know, God doesn't heal people anymore. God doesn't do this anymore. This, that, and the other. And I got to thinking because I did not get a chance to actually give him a rebuttal. And, you know, um, I was I was moving in that direction and I was just like, no, I think that we disagree on that because I've been actually used to heal people in Walmart. OK, and I watched it right before my eyes. OK, and, and in other places, too, you know, and and right when I said that, he was just like, well, we'll, we'll have to talk about that later. Because, you know, I'm I'm actually, you know, going to go and uh, drop my daughter off at school and I, I'll be back. And um, and after that, you know, that the, the character and the yelling and all of that stuff that, that he was displaying while I was talking with him just let me know that I don't actually want to have a conversation with somebody like that. So he got blocked. That was it. But I wanted to, to get on here and let you guys know. Dealing with people like that is, is sometimes a little bit hard, but if you have the right ammunition, then it's, it's not very difficult at all. Because, yes, you know, there, there's evidence throughout the entire Bible, but the one book that I wanted you guys to focus on um, concerning, you know, gifts, miracles, signs, wonders, healing, deliverance, all of that stuff is the book of Acts, okay? one of the things that you'll notice is that these people were just people exactly like us and just as important as the gifts and um, the miracles and the displaying of God's love through his supernatural power just as important as it was back then it's important now even more so now because the world is in a crazier place than it was back then okay the world actually had some type of order back then now it's it's the order that we are living under is so for lack of a better word, just simply put, evil. You know, even more evil than it than it ever has been. You know, every day, 
And so with that said, those individuals were just normal people just like us. They struggled in, in certain things, um, in, in certain areas they believed this, other people believe this, da 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 da. Regardless of whether they, you know, believed, okay, yes, I should be eating this, or no, I, I shouldn't be eating that, or whatever, blah blah blah. The Lord really used these individuals. Now, yes, I'm asking you to read the entire book of Acts because that book will arm you with everything that you need in order to encounter individuals that don't believe that they are Christian, I like to call them Christian non-believers. I was there at a certain place in my life and these people will literally, the, the common theology is that that time period was an apostolic time period and the Lord doesn't do that today. But if you actually pay attention, the word never contradicts itself. And so the same God that was there during that time period is the same God that is here right now. And then not only that, the word tells us that he is no respecter of persons. So if there's a theologian that is saying or a teacher that is saying or a person that uh, literally gets on Xbox Live and just swears up and down that he teaches this you know left and right and then he wants to argue with you about silly stuff like this but not want to he doesn't want to hear your point because he knows that once you display your point he won't have any type of ammunition against that because you're going to use the bible in order to go against what he is saying okay not something that he just learned in school about what they think that it means but what does the word actually say Okay, because the word actually says that he is no respecter of persons and that would make him a respecter of persons if it is that he only did that for those specific people during that specific time period and that specific day and age. Okay, that would make him a respecter of persons and the word never returns void. And so if it is that the word is telling us the truth, then those that believe the word simply put tells us all things are possible to those that believe. If you can believe, all things are possible to you. Okay? And the word is never going to return void on that. That's Mark 9.23. So I just wanted to get on here and provide you guys with some ammunition to provide, provide you guys with hope, to provide you guys with a little bit of insight in terms of how we need to be approaching individuals like that and then how we also need to be approaching our specific lives and our specific beliefs and our specific mindsets when it comes to moving toward the greater things of God and actually being a, an expression of who the Lord is through us. You guys be blessed. Have a good one.